Yo, DJ Coz again. This time I want to show you guys how to build a small lighting rig that isn't corny, looks good, and will work for almost all your shows. So, here, check this out. If you haven't already seen my video on uh, Freestyler DMX, go watch that because, you know, unless you have your own software already, I would highly recommend using that program, which is the one I'm using now. You can see this little computer um, rocking Freestyler DMX. Um, this is a clone of my large setup. So, my large setup is uh, I got cranks and large truss and a whole lot of fixtures in this box here with a separate computer and all I did was clone my freestyler setup you can back it up and you can uh, load it up into a different computer and so all of these fixtures are already mapped so I'll show you guys what's going on so I got my truss temporarily set up here just for show you know slid the poles into my uh, subs just to hold up the truss. This is the the truss, the I-beam that connects to the ADJ Event Table 2 um, which is super clutch. I use it all the time. So this is my medium light rig. So I got a small light rig, I got a medium light rig, and then I got the XL. So I can show you guys here. Let's do a little walk around. Basically, I've got Freestyler going to an adapter USB to DMX 512 that you can get on eBay and again watch that freestyler to DMX video and I can show you exactly which one to get and how it would work with your setup and basically that is going up to this moving head here which is a really cheap small moving head pin spot type of thing and then that DMX run is daisy chained to all of these fixtures so I've got pretty short cables so that there isn't any excess wire we'll come around the back side so I can show you so daisy chain DMX 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 in total it's uh, one two three four five six cables and for power I got this really clever setup, which I would recommend you guys do as well. Um, it's uh, IEC cables and they're all blue. You can get those on eBay or wherever. Um, and I've basically made it so that one IEC cable goes to the middle here and feeds two of my lights. And then those daisy chain with these IEC patch cables, which are only about two feet into my other fixtures um, and then again actually these moving heads are so cheap that they had that integrated cable but I went ahead and cut one of these and soldered it onto here so that it could also connect to the daisy chain of the IEC on these lights so this is what, a, what an IEC plug looks like that's the female side this is the male side super straightforward um, as far as the arrangement goes that's up to you um, I like this V style arrangement because uh, it's like a little version of my big boy setup um, I think it looks great I think the patterns are cool um, of course we've got all the features here so if I want to override red I could do red if I want to override uh, green strobe I could do green strobe and the all strobe, even the little ones, which is super rad. Um, they're sound active programs, or you know, you can make them randomized, you can make them chase. Essentially, I think this is really the best setup for medium gigs. And I'll tell you why this is superior to Sound Switch or any of the other stuff that requires your personal computer to work. And that's because if you're like me, you're doing lots of gigs with many DJs not just yourself and if you unplug your computer from Serato or whatever main setup record box um, sound switch it will no longer have control over your light setup and then another thing 
if you're like me where you're sitting down and monitoring your sound from elsewhere um, you know you're gonna want to have a remote computer to do this so you know for a variety of reasons this is better and it's so freaking awesome that this whole ass setup fits inside of two bags this tiny gator case here literally holds all six fixtures and the laptop and all the wires and this is only like a maybe 20 inch case uh, and of course the I-beam because it comes in its own ADJ um, bag or whatever so it takes up absolutely no space and you get this really big impressive set of course it's going to be higher up once it's attached to the uh, event table um, but it's amazing I think for what it cost me I got these uh, ADJ color beam bar things mega bars for like 40 bucks each I got these moving heads for like for free from someone who didn't want them because the power cable was broken so if you really do some hunting locally you can find hella cheap used fixtures that will do the job and not look corny as long as you arrange them properly as long as you DMX them properly so that they're not doing random in weirdness you'll be alright peace out this is Rick DJ Coke